overdue. Welcome to Savage Level, Megalo. Now enjoy these epic disasters, if you will. And now, let's open up this episode of Savage Level Omega No with a spoiled adult named Ben Shapiro. Yay, Ben Shapiro! Okay, he said, I will never vote for Donald Trump, ever. I will never vote for Donald Trump because I stand with certain principles. What principles, Mr. Shapiro? Oh, wait! You don't have any. Just as you have no standards, no morals, no mentality, and no knowledge, logic, reason, or wisdom at all. By logic, I mean logic. Additionally, Mr. Shapiro, you had no head on your shoulders as it's been stuck too far up your ass since birth. So Ben Shapiro, if you cannot see that, then I do not feel sorry for you, and neither does anybody else, especially those Trump supporters that you called retarded. Let that sink in. Let's kill another spoiled adult in the name of Timothy C. Simons. Alright, so this guy deleted his post from yesterday, obviously targeting people such as myself who voted Trump, or Sarah Huckabee Sanders, or Mitch McConnell. By Sanders, I mean Sanders. Sarah Sanders is a great human being, a pretty damn good role model of what a human being should be, unlike this sad piece of shit. He says, Mitch McConnell, Sanders, and Trump never let them enter a public space again. They should be relegated to fucking caves and never see the light of day. First of all, you spelled relegated wrong. You're supposed to replace the A in relegated beside the L and before the G to an E. Relegated. Not rel lugging. Buddy, you are a moron. And Savage Level Omega Null is moron free TV. So, what I suggest to you right now is that you off yourself and never vote in an election again. Just fucking off yourself, man. You just, you're no good. I'm sorry. You're no good. You're a democratic dick-sucking problem starter, and you just don't have any nuts, man. If you're gonna speak the truth, don't twist it around to make it into a lie. Because if you twist the truth around, it's going to become a lie, and people will call you out for it, and you'll never live to see or hear the end of it, buddy. I'm telling you. That shit don't work! Breaking news, the biggest jackass himself, Chuck Schumer, is speaking. Let's... Okay, okay, you know what? You know what, honestly? Everything he says is absolute dog shit. Literally, he's shitting out of his mouth right now when he should be shitting out of his ass like any so-called human being should. By the way, Chuck, I don't know where you're coming from, buddy, but... You need to fuck off to a nursing home and kill yourself, buddy, because you don't deserve to be a leader of any kind. I wouldn't even trust you to run a bathroom, much less a senate of a nation that has clearly gone to shit on your watch. And meanwhile, directing my attention now to Justice Kennedy. Reagan appointed Kennedy, Ronald Reagan, because the Democrats wouldn't allow him to vote a more conservative person. Throughout Reagan's presidency, this actually proved to be a good choice at first, but then Kennedy started showing his true colors during the presidencies of Bush 43 and Obama, and then he started to suck the liberals' tits. So, with that said, Justice Kennedy decides, as of this afternoon, July 
Well, actually, it's not July, but it might as well be. It's June 27th. But as of this afternoon, several hours ago, Justice Kennedy decides to get off the horsey and retires from a lifetime of sucking Babylon's tits. Did I note that this liberal killed any chance we had for justice in many cases of which he himself presided over and had the deciding vote on when the SCOTUS were deadlocked four to four. Yeah, he sided with the libtards. He sided with the retarded, liberal, fuckhead, democratic, Rothschild fuckers. That's right, people. You can't make that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this retarded guy named George, aka at Wasshart G1981. Okay, so this guy suggests that Laura Loomer's mother should have had that abortion. Well, I know you get pissed off when I ask this to you, Wasshart G1981, but why didn't your mother abort? If she knew before giving birth to your retarded behind that you'd turn into one of those shitholes that our beloved DJ Trump talks about, then how is it that she didn't miscarry? I mean, seriously though, man, can you explain that to me? Honestly, can you explain that? Because I already know what the answer is. The answer is an obvious big fat fucking no, but of course you already knew that, but you don't care to let it on because you're fucking retarded. Fuck! George Weishart G1981, hang yourself in the basement of your parents' house and fucking die. Because your mother should have aborted you to start with. You're just, buddy, you're living a lie. You have been living this lie since the day that you were born, and you still haven't woken up yet? Buddy, if you could just, for once in your life, do the correct and right and just thing, and do us all a favor, and take yourself to the nearest Golden Gate Bridge, and jump the fuck off of it, that would be great. I mean, seriously, man, that would be absolutely wonderful. That would be wonderful! That was a terrible second segment is going to introduce some homegrown talent from YouTubers that have come to source as being inspirations to our Ladies and gentlemen, Lars Kirchner. John PR25, same guy who posted this video on YouTube, October 19, 2010, 1.3 million views and challenges. Apparently, Lars brings his own equipments. Or you don't for big free. I know that Lars has been working this one for a while. Lars, take away.
try to recreate the gong show. Here's a YouTuber named Old Man Manuber. Brian's word. MACRUBER! Check this guy's performance of scars. You're gonna love it. Jen, can you tell me the set for Kill My Ladies? LOL! a little heavy on the ears, so I'm not a fan of like heavy metal or rock. Just uh <laughs> just bear with me. So it's just like you then. One, two, one, two, three, four. Talking about consensual penis. 
ladies and gentlemen, it is our consensual penis moment of the day, and this includes very spoiled fuckheads, children and adults alike, who appear on talk shows and make jackasses out of themselves in front of billions and billions of people all over the world. Now let's check this shit out. Seriously, let's make fun of some adults. Do you see her as lesser than? the decisions, you control the money, you have her passwords, but she doesn't have yours, do you pick her clothes out? She says you do. No. You pick her lingerie out? Uh, only for the email time. Do you pick her friends? No. Bullshit. Friends that are loud in the room. The lie detector administrator yeah. said that was a the lie. The part that's being left out is, well, that's why I'm asking. is, is, yeah, is, is, is the beginning she had you know, they're not so-called friends. They're people that actually brought her life down. You said she no. Was at when I met the lie detector now, test administrator a said just huge that change. was Here's a Here's what lie. she said the rules were, and I want to tell you so you can straighten these out if that's not the case. She said that she is to look after the baby and is not permitted to ask for help. That's not true. She said she's to take care of the that children was a and lie. the kids can't help because there are other children uh, in the home as well. That's not true. Democrats, in a nutshell. Oh, by the way, guys, buy Wikibuy. Get Wikibuy. It's free. On the next morning, Taya is 18 years old and pregnant with her second child. You think we would have gone through this if we had a father? No. Hawk claims oh, she is her father. I told you from the beginning. And this is why we have abortion. I never believed he was Angela's father. You don't say! Ready? What makes you think you're entitled to somebody else's money? Why not? Selfish. You pawned your mother's barely jewelry. They were sentimental. They were ugly. And uncaring. You shove a fish sandwich in your mother's mouth? I threw a pizza at her, too. All new Dr. Phil. This is why we have abortion clinics, people. This is why we have abortion clinics. To prevent shit faces like her from ever existing in the first place. Mothers? If you don't want your child to turn into a shithole, get an abortion! And to all your lords and laddies in Britain, over there, where the Muslims are slowly taking over your country and killing it as a whole, meet this little woman. She's apparently the most spoiled child in Britain. Why? Well, this woman will tell you. Uh, her parents have spent over £150,000 since she was born, making sure she's got the latest clothes and gadgets. So, is Brogan the most spoiled child in Britain? Take a look at this. Actually, I can answer that for you, and you don't need a fucking video package to tell me what I already know, because in fact, yes, she is the most spoiled child in Britain, and you can't teach that. Bada boom, Willis skull in the room. How you doing? Anyway, let's continue. Hi, my name's Brogan McKay. Come on in. Welcome to every little girl's dream. These are my Jimmy Choo's. These cost £475. Pounds. Pounds. These are the parents from spoiling their children to no fucking end. This is why we have a portion of the world. I'm lost it. Also, don't raise your children to become shitholes. Honestly. And you expect me to send that shit? Right. And you expect me to believe, beyond any shadow of a doubt, that she's not spoiled? She's fucking spoiled! And it's her parents' own fault! Parents, you should have aborted the child before she was born so you wouldn't have spoiled her to begin with. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. You won't learn from history. You won't learn from facts. You won't accept facts and history as they are, and now you've got to spoil the living year old adolescent 
baby. She's not a child. She's not even a human being. She's an 11 year old Anamu who you spent 150,000 plus pounds on to meet her unrealistic aspirations. And all for what? Because, because reasons? Well, of course, we all know what those reasons are, but fuck you two! Fuck you both for having raised your child to become a shithole. Babies don't let your babies to grow up to be shitholes. What the fuck, Castle? Huh? Huh? Well, you're gonna get your just desserts. Check this shit out. The latest from Ballpoint Poppy. Caught to see you. Truly. Damn! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh god, man, this, this. He looks like Cusco from Emperor's New Groove! Just a typical run-of-the-mill coffee drinker here. What the hell happened here? This guy just got roasted. Twitter Picasso style. He was given the Twitter Picasso treat. Look at that, man. Oh my god. Is that LeBron James? Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Why you ain't got no film? <laughs> this guy ain't got no film. Where's the crowd care nothing? Tom Picasso, what are you doing my like that? Seriously, man. Fuck. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that LeBron James just got completely Twitter Picasso. I guess that'll be a new phrase in the Urban Dictionary sometime in the next year or two. Perhaps I should add it in there. So. Not that it matters, but still, it's worth mentioning. I mean, fuck, you know? I don't... I don't even care. I don't care, man. I don't legit care. That's just how I feel about it. I don't legit care. And here's a reminder for in case you people didn't hear me shoot on Twitter all that time ago in a recent video. Here it is again. Twitter, you failed us. You suspend people like myself and other conservative people because of certain kinds of tweets or certain replies that people like us make exposing the deep state and all of its forwards which include people like you and you deliberately choose to collude with them daily in a failing attempt to suppress awareness so you shadow ban people to suppress the truth and by the way before you start backpedaling Jack Dorsey understand that people like myself are very few and far between and people like myself actually have the nuts to tell the truth that few may ever have the courage to expose so let all the deplorables in America and all over the world and myself remind you that you Dorsey and Glass and Stone and Williams or you are not above the law. Now, before Dorsey and Glass is known, I understand that the four of you found Twitter, and I 
I know that you launched it in 2006 as an alternative to Jacob Greenberg in your Lawrence Facebook. By the way, Jacob Greenberg, which is his real name, by the way, is a descendant of a Rockefeller or a Rothschild. He is born a member of the Illuminati. He was born into it, people. So he's automatically the problem by choice. And my respect for the four of you, Dorsey, Gladstone, and Williams, is endless and profound. But that doesn't mean we're going to agree with anything you tell us. Because of course we're not, because you four choose to be the problem instead of the solution. And yet, with all the love that all of us around this world we call Earth have given to you, what do you do to us in exchange for all the support we give you? You shit on us and send us to the proverbial slaughterhouse, turning it into mass-produced meat and all of us in the process so you can buy it in troves to feed your bottomless egos. For what? For what? Just so you can be bought out by Google and Alphabet Incorporated some several years later? Well, that's kind of ironic. Kind of sad, too. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that this episode of Savage Lover and Megan All is brought to you by The General, a Nashville, Tennessee-based company which provides the best in insuring at-risk drivers who are considered pretty high risk, I should say. But it's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid in part by suckers like you! Now get the hell out of my son.